video is going to be all about my nighttime skincare routine. I am so sorry it's taking me so long to put this video up. I did do my morning skincare routine video a couple months back now. I will link to it up there if you want to check it out. And yeah, my morning routine has not changed except for I don't use as much self tanner anymore because now it's fall and winter. Over here in Winterfell, I don't need I don't need a, I don't need a tan. I've been using most of these products or this similar combination of products for the last, I feel like for the last six to 10 months, I've had great results and I'm, I'm very happy, very happy with my skin. I do tend to break out maybe once or twice a month for hormonal reasons, but I do have very, very acne prone skin. So if I'm not very diligent and if I fall asleep with makeup on one night, I wake up in the morning and I have like five new zits. My skin is quite oily, but now getting into fall and winter, it's just more combination normal. It does have dry patches sometimes after uh, if I have any acne that's trying to clear out. So basically I've experienced it all, but for the most part I am oily and acne prone. So if you want to see what I use for my nighttime skincare, just keep watching. So the first thing I do at night is take off my makeup and I really, I prefer a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil to do that. So right now I'm using the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. I am really enjoying this, it's very nice. Only problem is, I don't know if I have a defective bottle, but it leaks. It's very messy. It's not a thick oil. I just need about three to four pumps of this in order to get enough to massage all over the face and to break down the makeup. This takes all the makeup off very, very well. It rinses very clean. It doesn't leave an oily residue on the skin, which I really like. If I have a very stubborn eye makeup, if I'm wearing waterproof mascara or if I was wearing fake lashes, I will go in and use a separate eye makeup remover. And the one I'm using is a Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. This is, I'm not crazy about it. Um, it's okay, but I would not buy this again. The Marcel eye makeup remover, if you live in Canada, you will know. Marcel is a Canadian brand, I think. Um, that eye makeup remover is a lot better than this, so I would probably just buy the Marcel one over this, but this does the job, so I'm, I'm using it up right now. And after I take off all my makeup, I cleanse my skin, and sometimes I cleanse my skin with the Clarisonic in the shower. Sometimes I just use a cleanser in a warm washcloth. So it just depends, depends on my mood, depends on how I'm feeling. And the cleanser that I'm using is a CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I like this, it's okay, but I do like the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser better. That's the cleanser I use in the morning. But after I use this up, I would not repurchase this, I would just Keep buying the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser and just use that one morning and night because I like that one better. If you do like your cleanser to do a little bit of foaming, this does foam up. It doesn't foam up intensely, so it's not very, it's not too drying. So do check this out. It's it's nice. I just I prefer the hydrating one though. After I cleanse my skin, I tone and I do some acid toning. And the acid toner that I use is Lotion P50 by Biologique Recherche. Recherche. Can't can't say that. I apologize to all the, the French speaking people that are watching my video. I am terrible at pronouncing fancy French words, but I love listening to the language. I think French is absolutely beautiful. Anyway. Lotion P50 is really, really good. It has salicylic acid and lactic acid, citric acid, a bunch of other stuff in there, and I'm enjoying it. I just do several drops of this on a cotton pad at night. It does sting a little bit, and then I just wait a few minutes. Um, it's recommended that you wait about 15 to 20 minutes, but sometimes I'm impatient and I don't wait that long, so I apply this at night, and I'm really enjoying it. A nice alternative to this is the Alpha Beta Extra Strength Peels from Dr. Dennis Gross. Those are towelettes that come pre-packaged and pre-moistened. I like to use those when I travel because they're just easy to just throw in your bag. You don't have to worry about carrying a bottle of liquid around. So I like those as well for the acid toning step. So once the acid toner is doing its thing, I will apply a serum. And I don't use this every single night, but most of the nights I use this. And this is the Sunday Riley Luna Oil. This is this Luna Sleeping Night Oil. It has some retinoids in there. I'm not as crazy about it as the rest of the internet seems to be. I like it, and I'm going to continue using it because I paid $105 for it. So um, I'm about, I'm almost halfway through it. and. I do use this very consistently. I use about four, four to five drops. Uh, I just put it, drop it in my fingers, massage my hands, and then just dab it all over my face. 
and it does leave a slight blue tint to the skin, but that sinks into the skin really quickly. And to me, I like the fact that it's a light oil texture. So I like, I love using facial oils. I feel like they really balance out my oily skin. So I have been enjoying this as an oil, but as for any miraculous changes in my skin because of the retinol, I haven't, I haven't really noticed any significant change, but it is a nice product. So I'm gonna continue using it. If I have any blemishes, I will use a spot treatment. And I really, really, really love the Kate Somerville Anti-Back Acne Clearing Lotion. This is a benzoyl peroxide based product, but it's not as drying as other benzoyl peroxide products I've tried. So I like, I like that. Some benzoyl peroxide products I've tried would leave me with like flaky skin in the morning. This doesn't do that. This is a little more hydrating than others. And this also does not stain your sheets or pillowcases. I have not had any weird bleaching from, from this product. So I do really like this. Only problem is this is not available in Canada. I got this at Sephora in the United States. You can find it at Sephora in the United States online, but you cannot find it on Sephora.com in Canada. An alternative to that is the Kate Somerville Eradicate. This is available in Canada, and this is sulfur and salicylic acid based. This is one of those little things that has, it has like the sulfur powder at the bottom and it has the layer with salicylic acid on top. You just take a Q-tip, you dip it in the bottom layer, then dot it over your blemishes at night. So I have found that this is very effective at uh, toning down the redness and calming down really big, angry, red cystic acne. I find that this is really effective for those. So Kate Somerville anti-acne products, I'm very impressed with them so far. Then I just, I go to bed. If I feel like my skin is extra dry, it needs a little bit of an extra hydrating layer, I will use this. I don't use this every night, but I use it um, if I don't have too much zit cream on my face and if I just want a nice, comfortable layer of hydration, I will use the uh, Vichy Idelia Skin Sleep. This is like a gel cream texture, smells really nice. I absolutely love the Vichy Idealia Serum. I use that in the morning. And this is like the night hydrating cream version of it. And I really like the smell of it. it smells better than the, uh, the serum. This very nice, soft, fresh scent. So I will use this all over the face. It does leave a slight stickiness to the skin, but it doesn't bother me. I put it on, I fall asleep, and I wake up with nice, plump, hydrated skin. And for eye cream, I do not have an eye cream that I am loyal to. I will just go through whatever samples I have. And at the moment, I'm using the Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate. And this sample, a little goes a long way. This has been a very generous size sample. I feel like I've been using this for the last two, three months. And just now, I'm, I'm starting to get to the end of it. And I actually think I have another one that I can use after this. So. Eye cream, I don't, not really crazy about any eye cream in particular. I will just use whatever samples I have on hand. That's my nighttime skincare routine. If you have any questions about anything in particular, please feel free to put it below and I will answer your questions. If I do have separate, more in-depth reviews of any of the products on my blog, I will link to them in the description box below. I know that I did a very thorough review of this and I've reviewed this on my blog before as well. So. If you want to check out that you can check it out below i hope you're having an amazing day and i'll see you in my next video bye this is the most heartbreaking sign we've seen all day we're gonna have to use stripper money to get these to get these more or less stripper money to get the donuts i only had three dollars two of them were michael's it was, it was a bad night bad night it was a bad well, night at work yesterday well, guys one customer was very generous the other one's not so much <laughs>